So it's Tuesday night. We're on our way to Arco. We're literally pulling in the gate to make a couple passes um, on the throttle stop and the pro tree just to shake this car down, get a little bit more comfortable with it. My bedtime is like 7.45 and it's like 6.11, so we're not staying late because I have to be at the gym at 5. We'll get out of here at 11.30. Yeah, you know, which probably means we'll get out of here at 11.30. But I really don't want to stay late because I want to go to the gym in the morning and not be tired, get a good workout. It's leg day. But um, Because even though people don't watch the internet, they all know what happens. <laughs> yeah, so we'll try to keep you in on passes. I don't have the GoPro in the car because I don't know where the rest of the mount is. <laughs> It uh, fell apart, but um, yeah, so we'll keep you in the loop and just keep you updated on everything and it'll probably only be a couple runs, but yeah. shifted it a little bit in third just to kind of keep it down but overall really happy with it it left great I'm gonna attach the pass so you can see it I'm thinking I'll do one or two more runs depending on my light but it's like past my bedtime <laughs> so we'll see but super happy with it so far and I'm kind of glad I came tonight I was like really nervous I wasn't expecting to come it was a last minute decision to come so super glad I came and I'll attach the pass and hopefully I'll get at least two more but we'll see Can't imagine 
imagine the stress that he's been under for the last two months between building the engine, building the car, painting the car, everything he's done. Um, the car looks fantastic. It's getting a lot of compliments. And it's not even, we didn't even paint everything. We just painted like the hood and the fenders and the ground effects. We didn't even go crazy. We didn't touch the doors or the roof yet. So very grateful to have such a good father helping me out. But we're going to try to make one more run. I don't know. It's like 9 o'clock. It's past my bedtime. I know I'm going to be regretting this tomorrow when I go to the gym because I'm not skipping. But so far, I'm very pleased with the So we plugged the lights in. So now you can see. This is going to be like the shortest video ever. But it's a little bonus video because normally we don't come on Tuesday nights. Anyway, uh, I wanted to make a third pass and about 30 seconds after I pulled up to the lanes, two cars hit each other, two no time cars. And I was like, we'll give it 10 minutes. And then I'm walking out and the guy got T-boned and he's all like pushed into the wall. So yeah, um, I'm gonna call it a night. I want to make a third hit, but it is what it is. The car was consistent, I'm starting to feel the tree. Um, goal is to come back Saturday and try bracket racing and not embarrass ourselves. Um, hopefully I remember how to top bulb. It's been a while. I only made two top bulb passes last year, but we'll see. Um, I'm just gonna throw a number in it and hope that it works. But we might take the throttle stop off for it. I don't know. It's printing tickets right now. I'm kind of nervous to take the stop off of it and just let it go. I mean, it should be in the nines all out, but I don't know. It's it's printing tickets. I'm happy with the car. So that's going to probably be the week-long discussion. Should we touch it or should we not touch it? Because we also have a change that's supposed to be coming in this week. And it's probably going to be a week-long fight of should we touch it or not touch it. But I'm kind of leaning towards not touch it. Um, this is my first time running the Champion break-in oil as well. Because when I switched over to Champion last year, my engine was already broken in. And I have to say, I've made probably five passes with the Champion Braking Oil. Okay, maybe four. And three of them where I have the throttle stuff dialed in and the car is printing tickets. So I'm like super shocked for Braking Oil because normally you don't see that with the Braking Oil. So I mean, 83, 88, 86. 83 was on Friday, 88 and 86. I mean, you really can't get much better than that when you're trying to dial in the car and I'm really not changing a whole lot. So Friday's weather was way better than it is today. So super happy with it. So yeah, hopefully we'll be back this weekend if weather holds out and hopefully it'll go well. Hopefully I remember how to bracket race, but thanks for tuning in. Um, sorry, I don't have a whole lot of racing content. Didn't get here till like six o'clock. I didn't really go down the track till like 7, but thanks for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed it. Car looks fast, and I'll attach the videos now.